Astronomy affects nearly every aspect of our lives in one shape, form, or another. The more we understand nature, the more we understand ourselves. The two are intrinsically linked. The human being is not simply flesh, blood, bones, but is conscious of his or her consciousness, which exemplifies something beyond mere physical existence. To state that the beginning of one's good life starts with a valued degree, a good paying job, getting married, the purchase of a home, having kids, and finally, to retire with a sound retirement fund, is to say there is no need for anything greater than ourselves, that there is nothing else more important than living the dream. Which, by the way, says little to nothing of having a purpose. Is purpose not equally important? Interestingly, living the dream carries with it different meanings for different folks in different parts of the world. The complexities of nature, of the cosmos, are greater than the sum of our knowledge, in fact, far beyond. Surely we have not reached the end of knowledge. As we were saying, there is vastly more to the cosmos than you have been informed. This is a disservice to you as a human being. It is a disservice to your fullest potential. You're far more capable than you have been taught is possible. But instead, labeled with a number and asked, what are you going to do when you grow up? As a collective whole, humanity is far more capable than is given you. But it is not that the average educator is lying to you. It's that wisdom is not well understood, respected, and then taught. There are a lot of very smart folks, but how many folks can you say are truly wise? There was a time when wisdom, above all else, was sought out and gained for its value. There was a time when folks sought wise counsel from tribal elders and so on. And that's because knowledge fuels our future. Astronomy has touched nearly every aspect of our lives, having served to advance our understanding of not only the cosmos, but ourselves as well, allowing us to build greater, more humane machines. But we're still missing one of the most vital pieces of knowledge of them all. We cannot stay on Earth forever. The longer humanity is around for, the more likely humanity will encounter one of the tens of millions and more dangers of space, our sun included. Does this mean we should put our heads into sand buckets and forget reality? Of course not. If you were traveling down the motorway at high speed with a brick wall in the middle of the road, wouldn't you want to see it so you can miss it? As a matter of logical survivability, of course you would. Humanity has always lived with both positive and negative events, many natural, some unnatural. Whichever we choose, these events can either serve to help us grow, to expand our awareness, and in turn increase our odds, our potential to survive, or not. At the end of the day, it's up to the individual, regardless of whether the planet is now dying or not, to determine whether they should learn and grow or not. However, on an equal but positive note, locating another Earth would be like locating another opportunity, a second chance to get things right. Therefore, in 2020, we designed and published a scientific paper about a new kind of large, multi-part laser-based telescope called the Planet Seeker. Not only is the Planet Seeker the most powerful telescope to date, but we also designed it to be the most affordable. But don't just take our word for it. Download the paper and see for yourself. It is so powerful 
that the planet seeker will be able to see an island the size of Borneo from just over 10 light years from Earth. And should there be life on that world, the planet seeker will see it as well. In asking the question, do we need astronomy? The answer is complex. You see, knowledge fuels our future. Without knowledge, we can do nothing, for we know nothing. Unlike most animals, the human being is born helpless, incapable of surviving the least of all challenges, that is, without a parent to watch over and nurture that child. Space is literally our last or final frontier. Without proper knowledge of nature, of the cosmos, we have no last frontier, no growth, no final and good future. So yes, of course we need astronomy. I want to thank everyone for taking the time out of your day to watch and or listen to this video. Whatever you do, keep dreaming and following those dreams because emotions begets thoughts and thoughts begets even more emotions until such time as you have achieved your dreams. And on that note, until next time, keep wandering about space. Thank you.